Well, hello everybody and good afternoon. Welcome to Sync Talk. I'm Dean Mandel and I'm Vice President of Revenue for Syncback. And I'm here today with Steve Walsh, who is the uh, Executive Vice President of Comscore Commercial, or Commercial for Comscore. Um, and we're here to talk a little bit about OTT measurement and cross-screen measurement and learning a little bit about Comscore. So if, maybe we'll start, Steve, if you could tell us a little bit about um, Comscore and what they do and what your role is there. Thank you. Yeah, I'd love to. And thank you for having us in today. So uh, again, my name's Steve Walsh. I'm the Executive Vice President of Commercial uh, of Comscore, and what that means in English is that in, in my world, I run local markets for Comscore. So anything related to local mm -hmm. television stations, local agencies, local advertisers, local OTT, mm -hmm. uh, falls under my bailiwick. And Comscore is a company, it's about a 25 year old company, uh, which merged three years ago with where I came from, Rentrack, which was mm -hmm. the, the TV side of the business. And uh, we currently have about 30 million homes uh, that are being passively measured through Comscore, uh, the audience behaviors inside them. Uh, we also have literally hundreds of millions of devices of data uh, across your desktops, across your mobile devices, mm -hmm. and across OTT that we measure every single day. And we are in the process now, locally in my world, of putting all that data together in a single source data set of cross-platform information, and we already have that occurring for us nationally as well. We'll talk about that later on sure. in our chat here. Yeah, no, that's exciting news, especially for a company like ours. You know, we're working with local TV station groups. We want to reach out to the buying community. Um, you know, we take our content from local TV stations and put it over the top so people can watch on any device. And you know, um, so we, we actually, when we came to you, we had a, a few different uh, measurement needs that we wanted to talk about. Mm -hmm. Um, and I think that's, it'll be helpful to go through them for some of the people watching, but you know, we certainly want to get uh, more data on our own audience because yes. we want to be able to tell our story, um, to, you know, make our inventory more attractive. You know, your typical stuff, demo and behavior and about incremental reach, which is really important. Sure. Um, that type of thing. Um, you know, we've got a programmatic platform. We work with SpotX and mm -hmm. we want to be able to push the data out into the programmatic platform so that we win more bids. Yeah. Um, you know, once we run a campaign, I mean, certainly we're going to try and do our best to deliver the campaigns and, and maybe over deliver the campaigns and be able to report on that. But in addition to that, we want to talk about, well, what made that campaign more valuable? What yeah. else beside impressions can we tell our, our clients um, to make it th so more about just view through rate and click through rate and things like that? That's right. Um, and also, you know, there's a lot of agencies obviously using your technology now yes. uh, on measurement. And when they use us, we want them to feel comfortable that they could track and do the things that they need to do mm -hmm. uh, with Comscore as, as part of it. So um, talk a little bit about, you know, some of the conversations we've been having and how you're helping sure. us. Sure. So, so what we have, are, are we, we have a, a variety of legacy products in the cross-platform space. Uh, the one that comes to mind specifically with regards to, to SyncBack and our conversations over the past several months is something called Videometrics Multi-Platform, which combines um, um, the, the digital data coming from tablets and desktops and OTT on a national basis on a national basis and rolls it all together. So we're measuring content across all platforms. And so as we in, get our tags integrated into your systems, mm -hmm. we'll be able to report on SyncBack TV uh, across all of those platforms and if, if, with particular regards to OTT mm -hmm. to show a variety of different metrics within there. Wow. Uh, we're pretty excited about it. Yeah. And again, the conversations we've been having, I can yeah. tell you when I talked with my team earlier today and they were excited mm -hmm. that I was coming over because they want to keep mm -hmm. the conversation rolling with you guys. Yeah, that's good. Yeah, we've been talking to engineers on your side, engineers on our side, mm -hmm. lots of people much smarter than me and you. So Correct. It's, it's great to have that backing both of us. It's yes. important in, in technology companies. Um, so on your website, yes. uh, it does say there's uh, cross-platform measurement is necessary when making informed business decisions in an increasingly complex media environment. So what are, aside from what you just talked about, what are some of the other products and technology that you're implementing to help publishers and media buyers? Well, in my world, uh, you know, local media, local television has long been the, the backwater of audience mm -hmm. measurement in the industry. Uh, and and mm -hmm. when I was approached by then Rentrack CEO, to come aboard, I, you know, I said, how high can I jump? Because the, the gap between what was available and what was needed was so vast. Yep. And so, you know, flash forward to, to three years ago when Comscore and, and, and Rentrack merged, mm -hmm. you know, the idea behind it was finally, let's create a measurement service which wraps all platforms yep. into it. Yep. It's taken us three years to get to this point, <laughs> two and a half years to get to this point, yep. because you're literally integrating hundreds yep. of millions of devices in varying 
platforms that don't talk easily to each other. But now we're in a position where locally and nationally we can look across platform behaviors. And I'll right. give you an example, again, from my world locally, but you know, it would be akin to what we could report nationally. Uh, we are rolling out a local cross-platform measurement mm -hmm. service. It's in months to now, it's internal, it's beta. Right. We're not sharing it with clients at this point. What I can tell you though is one example from a station in the mid-sized market, 22% of their news audience comes exclusively from digital. Wow. So, so the rap against local news has long been yeah. it's old, it's dated, it's right. this, that, and the other thing. Well, you know what? No. Yeah. Because there's an audience out there that is younger, that is more affluent, mm -hmm. that is consuming local news, yeah. and I think that's going to be great news for local broadcasters and for SyncBack because yeah. I know you're news heavy as well. Yeah, and that's uh, you know, exactly what we assert to our customers. Yeah, that's and, right. You know, it's funny, and here we are in New York with our sirens, that's the way we go here. Um, but we talk to uh, we talk to advertisers and, and you know, we, we're generally dealing in New York and LA and Chicago where, where local news is almost national news. Yep. Uh, it's a little bit different and we, we like to assert how in local markets that news is so important uh, and you know, finding out about your local team and local events and things like that. So um, it, it's great that, that Comscore is helping with that. Look, what we learn is that if you look at, at the decline of linear viewership secularly, particularly mm -hmm. in prime time, right. but not exclusively, you know, it's not that viewership's going down, it's simply moving to other platforms. Right. These platforms pop up, mm -hmm. behaviors change to adapt to them, right. and it's incumbent on Comscore to get out there and, and properly and reliably, right. stably, representatively measure it and report mm -hmm. it back to you guys and the rest of the industry. Yeah. So obviously you're working with um, all of the big agency players. We are. All of the holding groups. Um, you know, it's our philosophy, and we've talked about this before, that we know different agencies, even within the holding groups, are at different levels with how they're doing OTT and what they're doing with, and for different clients and mm -hmm. different things like that. And you know, it's our belief that we need to be as nimble as possible. Yes. You know, if agreed. a digital team is buying it, we need to be prepared to do it that way. If a, if a, uh, if the linear team is buying it, we need to be able to help them. Um, either way. So how is Comscore? finding the agency's adoption and how are you working with the different agencies? Right, so, so to the, the headline is that we're working with all the holding companies mm -hmm. as planning currency. We are right. planning currency. We've been working very hard over the past six years right. to move into the transactional buying currency mm -hmm. level. Uh, we are that in yeah. 14 national agencies. Um, yeah. We are seeing a rapid expansion mm -hmm. of our adoption over oh, just in this quarter alone, and last quarter rather, um, we, we saw a 25% increase in the number of requests for our data for avails. Wow. And we're talking hundreds and hundreds of thousands of avails yeah. per month uh, coming in between January and March. Yeah. So, you know, the, ex the, ex you know, the majority of the, of the data we, we are mm -hmm. currency on is still smaller markets, mid-sized markets. Mm -hmm. Top markets are probably 20, 25% of okay. our volume right now, but that's ramping up as is our, uh, mm -hmm. as is our usage as a, as a currency to, for buys. That's terrific. It's good news for us too. Yeah. Uh, we're, we're glad to hear that. So, uh, Upfronts is going on now. Yep. I'm sure you've been busy we, running we, around. We have been busy. Yeah, checking out. So, uh, of of the different networks that are, you know, and we know ABC and Disney Plus are doing their thing, and Comscore is doing their OTT thing, and mm -hmm. uh, it seems like everybody's doing something. Um, what what do you think of the industry at this point in terms of that, and where does the local stations fit in, given your background on the local? I side? think the local stations have a huge opportunity. I mm -hmm. think I think look, everything comes back down to local. Mm -hmm. You see, you see a tier one car ad. Yeah. You're still going to go to the dealership and buy the car right. that's in the dealership that's five miles from your house. Right. I, I think now that tech, now that stations are able to avail themselves of technology, um, mm -hmm. you know, witness sync back right. um, to to keep themselves not just relevant, but make themselves more relevant yeah. and more accessible and more interesting mm -hmm. with opportunities for new types of content right. on their air. I, I think stations are in a great mm -hmm. position. I, I think the industry is, a state, is in a state of stress. I think yeah. it's in a state of flux. <laughs> I think that, that, age, that uh, um, audiences are exploring and yeah. they're trying to find where they're gonna, mm -hmm. that's what I like. Right. And I think it's, it's your job, it's station's job, it's network's job, cable's job, mm -hmm. to, to create that compelling content yeah. and make that compelling content as easily available mm -hmm. in all locations and all devices yep. as possible. And then we have to figure out how to measure it. Yeah, and that's exactly what we're trying to do. That's it. So uh, just speaking of the upfronts, uh, you've been going on for many years, as have I. Yes. What's your craziest? time, most memorable time in the upfronts. I like my job and I'm going to keep it. I'm going to leave it at that. I'm with you on that. I hear you. So anyway, thank you everybody for joining us. My name is Dean Mandel and I'm here with Steve Walsh from Comscore and uh, we'll see you again on the next Sync Talk. Thank you, Dean.